Yo, what's good, y'all? Hey, yo, real quick. So I was just scrolling through my camera roll earlier today, and then I found this gem of a video that I'm, well, I guess you're about to watch in a few seconds. So I think I shot it back in like May or something. Not sure why I never uploaded it, but I hope y'all enjoy. Thanks to all my new comment subscribers. I'll see y'all. Appreciate you. Love ya. Mwah. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Yo, what's good, real ones? It's Levon. Welcome back. And I'm here to drop another gem on y'all today. So, man, I wanted to bring y'all this quick topic that was on my brain. And I wanted to talk to y'all about doing the challenging thing. I found that it's like a, it's kind of like a law of the universe, Loki. It seems like it's a law of the universe. You know what I'm saying? If you do what's harder, do what's challenging, do what's difficult, that's gonna yield more uh, beneficial results for you, you know? It's, it's something that I've, you know, encountered a few times in my life when, for example, like when we look at if guys sleep with a lot of women or versus women sleeping with a lot of guys, you know, a lot of people try to flip it like, oh yeah, well, if guys can do this, then I don't see no problem why I can't. It, sh it shouldn't be a problem if I do. And, you know, granted, yeah, there's there's some some truth to that, I think. But um, I'm gonna tie that into into this topic and I'll, I'll give you guys a few other examples that that came up so it's like for a woman if you're say in your early 20s or whatever in comparison to a guy it doesn't really work if you flip it because of that law right what i'm saying is a law of the universe it's not challenging for you to you know sleep with a lot of guys as a woman because most guys would probably want to sleep with you you know what i'm saying they'd be down to smash if we take that law like doing the more challenging thing um will yield you better results uh i think the opposite is true like if you do what's easier then you know your outcome probably won't be as ideal right so the easy thing to do as a woman would be to let a lot of guys smash that's easy for y'all to do if, if y'all really wanted to you really could like every day at least have one person sleep with you which is crazy to me <laughs> but y'all could do it i mean that's just how life works that's how it's set up so doing the hard thing on on the woman's from the woman's side would be to like remain a virgin knowing you have all these options all these potential suitors su suture suitors right who want to who want to hit but so the challenging thing for a woman would be to remain a virgin until she gets married until she finds her husband and that would be the most beneficial too you know what i'm saying you don't have any kind of past relationship baggage you don't have all those energy uh all those i guess soul ties that sh with other people you know to have dealt with you don't have any um you don't really have any comparisons to make either for for your from your spouse vir versus having uh you know a lot of previous partners right so that's for the women on the guy's end the more challenging thing would be to sleep with a lot of women you know what i'm saying <laughs> a guy would have to get himself to a point where you know he would have to acquire certain attributes you know what i'm saying uh, certain skills um you know he would have to have something going for himself for a lot of women to to want to sleep with them the thing is so it's it's different in that regard so i kind of i just don't get it when people try to flip that um and this is even the main point of the video but i'm just kind of going into this into this topic since we're here so the challenging thing for a guy would be to sleep with a lot of women but then you know once a guy makes a name for himself like say 
this is one of the go-tos people always use is I don't know like Idris Idris Elba is that is how you say his name him or or uh what's the inception dude uh it's not even the titanic 2 super known actor come on dang see i'm drawing a blank i'm drawing a blank that's crazy y'all know who i'm talking about it's like when you think of a dream and then the harder you try to think about it it's, it's just it's just leaving my head i know it's super obvious but y'all know who i'm talking about um that dude it's it's easy for him to sleep with a lot of women right now because he has a name for himself and the way that it works is if a woman sees that other woman that you're wanted by other women as a guy then it's like a snowball effect then more and more are gonna want you just because you've kind of been validated you know what i'm saying by by the sisterhood if you will <laughs> so the thing is though that lot that law would still apply um what is dude's name bro that's really about to irritate me who was the guy that played in inception here's what i found from imdb.com with his breakthrough performance as Eames in Christopher Nolan's sci-fi thriller Inception, 2010, English actor Tom Hardy has been brought to the attention of mainstream audiences worldwide. What's the cast of Titanic? Titanic features Clifton Webb, Barbara Stanwyck, Robert Wagner, and others. Oh my gosh, this is about to kill me. Now I gotta look it up. Uh... With YouTube Premium, you can watch as many videos as you want. Without... Leonardo freaking DiCaprio. Oh my gosh. Was he even in those movies? <laughs> Y'all really don't be knowing movies or actors like that, so if I... Whatever. But, boom, right, him. A lot of women would be down to sleep with him. So, a guy that's in that position, doing the easy thing in his position would be to sleep with a lot of women just because he has those options but the harder thing once you're a guy and you make it to that point would be to still only have one option you know what i'm saying or to limit yourself to having one option to limit yourself to having a wife and not sleeping around because it's equally damaging for guys as it is for women a lot of people say that oh yeah well a lot of guys try to justify you know just being loose and out here and in these streets because it's like, oh yeah, you know, uh, guys can can fuck with no emotion and it doesn't affect us the same way. It, and it's really, if you talk to any dude that's been out here, they usually just feel empty inside or they're doing that because they're trying to fill some kind of void, you know? So, I say all that to say, doing what's challenging will be the most beneficial for you. Anything that comes easily is pretty much universally not worth it, right? If you have a more challenging option. So even if you just like look back at, at our race and you know, some of the things that, a lot of the things we had to go through be that you know, past wars, world wars, escaping slavery, you know what I'm saying? Even for the people that were conquering other nations, I mean, that, that took a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, some people had to be on the, the losing end of the stick in that regard, but still, I mean, that took work and that yielded profit. It's just, that's just, it's how the world works, right? So, challenge yourself to to do what's to do what's difficult yeah we don't have to go through a lot of hard times and a lot of the current technology um and you know current advancements that we've made in the as a human race allow us to live in leisure and in luxury you know but we can still we can still enjoy those luxuries, I think, and still find ways to challenge ourselves, be that finding a new a new skill, a new hobby, you know, that could still challenge us. Um, just 
doing something that you're you're not good at honestly or that you're scared of that's that's a challenge too you know facing fears and whatnot so you can still find ways to build your character even though life's relatively easy for us now um even just exercising you know doing something physical every day taking cold showers you know all these practices i'm sure you guys have heard about even just something that's not physically challenging like meditating you know that's that can be mentally challenging to just sit with yourself for for 10 minutes a day and doing that on a consistent basis you feel me so um yeah was that it i don't know i feel like i'm missing something but that's everything that's coming to mind right now yeah man challenge yourself uh don't take the past the path of least resistance you know what i'm saying take the take the heart then the the bumpy road you feel me it's like when um when i was learning to ride my one wheel i I told everybody that I've let hop on it. I mean, getting on gravel, hitting trails where there's like bumps and ridges and, you know, bumps in the sidewalk and whatnot. You want to ride on that stuff first so you can so you can get acquainted and used to riding on rough terrain. Then, you know what I'm saying, at the end of it all, once you hop on the smooth terrain, it's going to be 10 times easier than if you just started trying on smooth terrain and you hopped on on some gravel and whatnot then you don't know what to do you falling all the time because you're not used to it you know what i'm saying do what's difficult first first do what's challenging first and then you can chill later and just just do what's challenging period even during the time when you have the opportunity to chill just keep challenging yourself it's good for your character um and it's essential for growth I don't know if I'm gonna leave all the the men versus women stuff in the in the beginning. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video and really get in depth into that that thought that topic. But that's all I got for y'all for now. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe to you. Take a second while I'm here. Yeah, while I'm watching you, go ahead and hit that notification bell for ya boy. Be notified. You know, I'm I'm trying to drop some somewhat useful mildly entertaining content for you guys so like do yourself a favor do me a favor hook, hook your boy up hit that notification bell it's gonna help me out on the channel and to, you know what i'm saying get my word out a little more and whatnot uh y'all have a good one i'll see you in the next one deuces